welcome. I'm here today with Herman Binky, um, Bit Refill's head of Latin America, and I'm going to be asking him about El Salvador. Uh, welcome, Herman. How are you? Thanks, Ricardo. Great to be with you. You recently moved to El Salvador. I know you're in Sweden right now, but uh, I wanted to ask you a bunch of questions about El Salvador, if that's all right with you. Yeah, of course. Cool. Excited okay. about it. Awesome. Um, so in El Salvador, are you staying in the capital or are you in Bitcoin Beach or somewhere else? Now, we'll, uh, we'll be in, uh, residing in, in San Salvador. I'm moving with my, with my family, with my wife and kids. So we're looking at to, to stay in the city. Yep. Oh, okay, perfect. Are you going to be attending either of the Bitcoin conferences, Adopting Bitcoin or La Bitcomp next week in El Salvador? No, unfortunately, I won't be there. I think we're, 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 we are well represented with a, a whole bunch of us in the company there. I think there's 15 of us in the, at the conferences. So unfortunately, I, I have some other things I need to attend to back home in Sweden before we go, go back in December. So uh, I, I won't be there. So I'm, I'm missing out a lot of FOMO right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you have plans to surf or learn how to surf there at yeah. Bitcoin Beach? Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I, I, I'm a little bit of a kite surfer, not a, a great one, but I'd love to learn how to wave surf as well. So lo looking forward to, to, to learning about the ropes. I've, I've been to Bitcoin Beach a couple of times and I, I, it looks amazing what everybody's doing out there. So I'm looking to start, start slow and then see if I can hit those waves. Um, in the future. Did, when you were at Bitcoin Beach, did you manage to um, use Bitcoin to buy anything or use Lightning Network to buy anything? Yeah, of course. That that that's why you go there. I mean, it's great. You you can buy a beer. You go to restaurants. You pay for hotel rooms. You just you, you can do everything uh, with with Bitcoin. So I've used uh, you know, Lightning most of the time. Yeah. So uh, either using a Moon Wallet or Bitcoin Beach Wallet, of course. Um, I I'm not a El Salvadorian national, so I don't have Chivo. Uh, but um, you know, hopefully, I, I can find a way to get Chivo as well in the future. What was your impression of, of actually using Lightning in the real world? I mean, it's it's cool. It's amazing. I mean, we're I'm I'm from Sweden, right? So we have a we have a, an app here in Sweden called Swish, where where we send fiat between, you know, be, between us, uh, both to businesses and, and to individuals. And and you have the same, you know, in Sweden obviously is a well de developed country, but you have the same uh, experience in El Salvador, which is crazy, you know, that you can through a QR code just send lightning payments to either a you know food stand or a hotel or a bar. Uh, and uh, you know it is uh, it, it's quite amazing. And now it'll be interesting to see how things work next week when you have hundreds of people doing the same thing at the same time. So, because uh, there's a little bit of friction here and there, it's not working perfectly all the time, but uh, it's definitely improving. So it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mind blowing experience. Aside from BitRefill, have you noticed any other companies from the crypto space kind of coming to El Salvador to take advantage of the new Bitcoin law? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a, that's, that's kind of one of the exciting things about El Salvador at the moment. There's a lot of companies from all over the world congregating in different forms, you know, either by setting up small offices or just going over to explore. But you just want to be part of this and kind of be, contribute to, you know, creating a circular economy with, uh, with, with, with Bitcoin and crypto. So, I mean, I, you, see, uh, you see and hear a lot of things. Uh, so uh, there's, there's a number of companies doing that. And we obviously want to be one of those that kind of have a presence in the country. So, um, yeah, I think we're in good company. For businesses, what are the regulations surrounding Bitcoin like? Is there a lot of red tape or is it pretty hands off? Well, I think, I think there's not a lot of regulation yet. Uh, so, uh, so that's one of the kind of the challenges is that uh, the challenges and the opportunity at the same time is that there's a, there's a, there's a lot of goodwill, there's a lot of interest, uh, but the kind of the regulation might not be in place yet. So, uh, so that way it's, it's a great environment for startups and companies who want to kind of create new apps, new services, because you're, you're, there's really, you know, there's really a, a, an open market for for how how for development and creativity, so there's definitely not a lot, lot of red tape, uh, but the, the, there could be more regulation and there could be more structure, which might be helpful in the future. I understand that you've been learning to speak Spanish, so that means you've been able to talk to Salvadorans directly about Bitcoin. Um, what do they themselves think of all this? Yeah, it's interesting. Well, I'm, I I uh, I my Spanish is improving every day. 
Um, you know, I've, I've used to live when I was a kid. I lived in Spanish-speaking countries, so I do have it back of back of my in the back of my head some, somewhere. There, there, there's some good Spanish. Uh, but in speaking to people on the street, there's I think overall there's probably uh, I think my experience from El Salvador is that there's less um, resistance in the country as opposed to what we see in the news. I think there's more uncertainty as to what is this. You know, people are not educated. They they are getting one version of it maybe through through media, but uh, I think there's definitely a, a lot of education needed. And I think education will probably come with experience. So as, as soon as people start experiencing, you know, using crypto, using Bitcoin, using lightning payments, um, you know, new solutions, new ideas, new services will emerge. And, and that's how, you know, that, that's how things will stabilize or improve. I mean, I, I love the fact that they're, they're running it like almost like a startup, uh, you know, uh, they're kind of releasing things that might not work perfectly, but that's, you know, a good sign of a, a successful startup that you release something that you're a little bit embarrassed about, which is good because if you, if, if, if you don't do it, uh, then you, you're probably too late. So I, I uh, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what, what happens in the next couple of years. But uh, there's definitely some uh, some great opportunities to to create some some awesome Bitcoin based and Lightning based services. I understand that there's Bitcoin ATMs everywhere in El Salvador now. Have you used one personally? Um, I have, but uh, I don't. You know, I don't have a uh, I don't have a Chivo wallet. So there's there's Chivo ATMs in most malls and you know where there's a lot of people like strip malls or inside malls or the, the airport and so forth. Um, they are they're somewhat tar tiered to obviously national. So I don't have a local phone number yet, so I have not been able to you know get a, a SMS sent to me. So but I've seen them being used and I've seen people using them. Uh, you know there there are lines to those ATMs sometimes. So it's, uh, it's definitely being used. Are there exchanges that uh, Salvadorians are using to convert to dollars or vice versa? Yes, there are, but I, I, I don't know how frequently they use their art, to be honest. I think people are, you know, they are still exploring, you know, obviously the younger kids, they, they use Bitcoin for, for games and free fires and Roblox and that sort of stuff. But I, you know, I haven't, you know, the, 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 the roles of the exchanges, I don't have that much information around it, I think. Uh, Chivo, uh, you know, the Chivo ATMs are probably the most free, frequently used by people. People are still used to cash in a way. So they, they like to go and withdraw their, their Bitcoins for, for cash. So it's I think that's the, the learning curve here that people want to get comfortable with paying each other through mobile phones and QR codes. As far as businesses go, like does every business actually accept Bitcoin? Can you go pretty much anywhere and, and spend Bitcoin or, or is that still kind of rolling out? I would say that the vast majority of businesses do accept Bitcoin. Um, so they usually have uh, a Chivo terminal. So they have the Fiat Visa MasterCard terminal and then they have a, a Chivo terminal. Um, I wouldn't say that that's the most popular way of paying uh, just yet, but the, you know, whenever you ask to, I haven't been declined uh, paying for anything with Bitcoin yet, except in a business to business world, when you know, you're paying a, another business for something, then yes, they might not have the visibility, they, they don't have the terminal yet and, and they don't really have a way for us to pay them. But you know, most retailers do accept Bitcoin. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If they're not public facing, they might not have a terminal. Right. Uh, what's the food like in El Salvador? It's great, man. Pupusas for the for the win. There's a lot of good food in El Salvador. I'm surprised by the variety of food and restaurants and and you know the the level of uh, of uh, selection that there is in San Salvador. Um, even you know you go to Bitcoin Beach, El Tunco. There's a lot of restaurants there too, um, and I think things are you know things are you, you see new places all the time. So it's uh, it's definitely you know growing my well one of my last questions is is the volcano mining uh the geothermal volcano mining do you know anything about that or is that just a meme on twitter you know i don't think it's a meme on twitter uh i think they're you know the size of it is probably not uh, it's not significant just yet uh i think there's definitely potential i mean iceland has a lot of geothermal mining 
and uh, you know and i think the same technology can apply to to uh, el salvador they obviously have a lot of geothermal energy uh, creation so there's definitely a line there but i think it's still exploratory i don't think you have any large size mining farms established in El Salvador yet yet but I think there's a there, there's a number of larger players eyeing the, the market and just trying to figure out you know how they can establish themselves there and how they can uh, handle the, the cooling uh, versus the energy cost and, uh, and so forth so uh, you know it's definitely an interesting an interesting play is there anything that I haven't asked you? that you think is important for people to know? I think there's a lot of good things happening in El Salvador. Um, and I think it's, ex like we touched upon, it's exciting to see a lot of people coming to El Salvador. I mean, you look at these two conferences this week or next week, you know, you have, you know, maybe a thousand delegates coming, you know, most of those people will probably not have come to El Salvador if it wasn't for what happened this summer in terms of the Bitcoin law and so forth. So there's a lot of new eyeballs in you, smart intelligent people coming to the country and and uh, you know experiencing this this new new world where you know bitcoin is accepted uh, and I, that's uh, that's very exciting to see what that will create for the country and for the rest of the world so you know i think it's a it's a new playground for for, for bitcoiners which is uh, you know uh, exciting too to, to be part of and we as a company we want to be one of the leaders in the space there so we are committed to starting a, a company and setting up an office there this year, which uh, we're looking forward to doing. Perfect. Well, Herman, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to answer my questions. I know it's late there because of the time difference. So uh, I think we'll end the interview here. No worries, Ricardo. Great being with you. Have a great rest of the day. You too. Thanks, man. Bye.